Hi everybody, welcome back to Print Powder Palette. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on my Bombay Hair 5-in-1 Curling Wand. I'm really excited because this is something I've been looking for for my kit for a long time. It basically gives me five different types of curling wands in one, which means it'll take up less, less space, and it means I can get different looks and achieve different um, styles, just one product. So today I'm going to be trying out, I'm not really sure actually, I kind of want to try the Pearl Bubble, which is what it's called, but I'll show you all the, the different wands and how they work first, and then I'll show you how it um, looks in the hair. So it came in a lovely box like this. It has the sizes of each barrel on the back so you know what you're sort of looking for. So that's quite cool. These are the ones. I've had a lot of funny feedback on these. I'm not going to say why, but these are the different types of ones that we have. And I've got one here as well. So, okay, so that's the Pearl Bubble one. This small one is the 19 millimeter. This one is the 25 millimeter. This is the 13 to 25 millimeter one. So this makes tighter curls at the top and then looser at the bottom. And then this is the 32 millimeter one. It also comes with two of these awesome hair clips. I love these because they really hold the hair. Um, they're super, super grippy, um, better than all the hair clips I have. So these are brilliant, so you get two of those. Also get a heat glove. Um, for those of you who are not accustomed to curling your hair with wands, um, these are really useful. I'm quite used to it, so I, I don't tend to burn myself, but it is um, very useful if you're not used to doing it. So the way that this works is you have the um, base here, and you can see the, the um, lock and unlock um, little symbols there. So you just twist and wiggle it out. And you can see that it has these two little prongs here. They slot into the base. So if you want to change the wand that you're using, you just simply slot it in to the base, make sure it's all the way down, and then you turn it to lock it. Then you go ahead and you turn it on with the center button here. So you can see that it's starting to heat up um, as we speak. And these little knobs on either side are the um, heat settings. So the heat goes up to 232 degrees Celsius. So I can pop that all the way up to the highest setting I can do. Um, and it also goes all the way down to 77, 77 degrees Celsius. Um, and it also has an automatic shut off uh, mode after an hour. So today, I'm going to be using this one. I'm not really sure what sort of effect it's going to give. Uh, we can have a go and see. I'm going to set it for 200 for my hair. It takes a bit, quite a bit of heat to uh, curl my hair. So please forgive me, I'm going to be looking off that way while I curl my hair. So I'm going to section it off, splitting it down around the middle using these awesome clips. I'm going to take a small section of hair at a time, face the wand down, and start to pull it around. Look at that curl, that curl is amazing. Right, I'm gonna speed this up so you can watch me do it and not bore yourself to death.
So these are just the last few bits I need to get. It hasn't taken very long at all. Um, obviously my hair is sort of a long bob, so if you have long hair it might take a little bit longer. Um, but it is pretty quick. What I've tried to do is try to do all the curls going away from my face, but a couple of sort of coming towards um, around the back so there's a bit of movement. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed, but the, when it hits the heat that you want, which mine was 200 degrees, it goes green. So you know that it is to the right temperature, but it also tells you as well. I'm holding it on each curl for about five seconds. The longer you hold, the, the sort of tighter the curl it is. So this one I'm holding a little bit longer so you can get an idea of how tight the curl goes. It's quite a tight one there. Now this will be the tricky bit, getting the fringe to be in an appropriate place. Not really sure how to go about that. I just don't really like a straight fringe with curly hair. Really work. So maybe what I'll do is sort of gently drape it around so it's not too tight. Right, so now that I've done that, I'm going to turn it back off. So I'm just going to hold the button down, it starts to flash, and you can see that it's turning off. And then I'm just going to, well, I'll show you what the curls look like as is. It gives you quite lovely spiral curls, um, which is nice on its own. Not really my style, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to run my fingers through. And it's going to create a lovely wave. So just a couple of scrappy bits to slip those out. Same on either side. That creates an amazing curl. And there you go. That is using one wand from my five-in-one Bombay hair curling wands. What a mouthful. Um, so that was the pearl bubble that I used to create this. This is after I've run my fingers through it. 
Um, so far, really awesome. Love it. Really good. Um, my only thing that I have to say about the whole product, which I love everything about it except that, it doesn't come with a bag to put everything in. So I'm sort of trying to think about what sort of case I can like sort of contain them all in because I don't want to carry it around in the box. Um, but other than that, I can't really fault it. It's absolutely amazing. So I'm looking forward to doing um, tutorials on the other barrels as well. Um, also, because Bombay are so awesome, um, they have given all of my followers a discount code. So if you go to bombayhair.co.uk um, and go for the 5-in-1 curling wand, when you go to check out, if you type in AG50, you'll get 50% off on the whole product, which is amazing. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed that, and I will see you in the next tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye.